So Adobe Camera Raw 14.0 that came out with Photoshop 2022 did some revolutionary things. They totally reimagined masking, adding so much control that typically you would only have inside of Photoshop. Because essentially, they've figured out a way to change the way your local adjustment tools and workflows work in Adobe Camera Raw because you can now combine mask tools and you can select specifically color and luminance. Let's check that out. Yes! So I have this image. I'm going to open it in Adobe Camera Raw by clicking on this little icon up here, or I could hit Command R on a Mac or Control R on Windows. I'm going to open up the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box, and we have this new icon over here. And now remember, Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom have the exact same processing engine. So the develop module in Lightroom has the exact same algorithmic functionality that Adobe Camera Raw has. It just depends on which platform you enjoy working in. So I'm going to click on this masking icon and look what we have now. We have a select subject, which we've never had before. We have a select sky, uh, which we never had before. And now each of these tools, the brush, the linear gradient, the radial gradient, we can now select based on color range alone. And we can base our changes on luminance alone. And it gives you a quick little demo of what each does in case you forget. So let's try the select subject. And inside of Adobe Camera Raw, it's going to figure it out, mask it. I can always change my mask color by clicking here if I need to so I can see what's being masked. And that's perfect. So now when I start to drag this adjustment, the mask will disappear so I can see what I'm adjusting. So I definitely think she should be brighter, but unfortunately when you brighten up under exposed subjects, it tends to flatten them. You're missing, you know, those rich blacks. So I need to add the rich blacks back in there just to make it look correct. I'll pull down the highlights. I think that's really strong. I, I really like the direction that went, but here's what you can also do. Go back to that mask icon, come down to select color range, and then let's select this little area by clicking and dragging. It picked up her face, which we don't like. It picked up over here. So what if I want to subtract, but using the brush? I'll hit the right bracket key to make my brush bigger, because I want to take that off of her face. I don't want it to affect any of that. I really want it just to affect her hair. This is reflected light here. And then I can paint out everything on the brick that I don't want it to contaminate, because it just happens there's red in the red brick, obviously and I don't want to affect her skin tone. There's some reflected light going on there. So you see you have a lot of quick control inside Adobe Camera Raw, and now I can just grab the hue slider, say make that dress maybe this color red. So you have a lot of powerful control with the masking, and you still get to go back and say, hey, I always like a little bit of extra clarity. I like to make my scenes a little dark. I love to bump up the vibrance a little bit while I pull down the saturation. For my brand, I always put a bit of a vignette to keep people focused on the image. And I think that's a, a really quick and strong way to edit in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm going to click Done. It's going to go back to Adobe Bridge, and it's going to show me the update. So let's take a quick look at this image, which is underexposed based on how it looks and the histogram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that masking icon and do Select Subject again. And it got the guy, this bag, and a little bit of the violin case, which in this case works fine. I'll make him just a little brighter. I'll open up his shadows just a touch more and tweak the blacks just a little. And I like what that did. But maybe I want to come up and duplicate that mask and it's going to reapply that effect by double, right? So now I've turned up the volume on my radio by 200%, which I don't want. But essentially this is for the background. So I'm just going to invert that mask. So now the background has been brightened, but I don't want the background that bright. Instead on, on the background, I'm going to open up the shadows a lot and pull up the saturation a lot, and then just tweak the background until it complements my subject. So yeah, I think I think that's a really nice complement. And remember, you can always come back to this one and brighten it a little more in relation to what you just made. So do you see how I can quickly give him a, a little bit more pop and zest, but he still stands out? Now what about this? Let's go back to that quick mask selection and choose color range. Now maybe I want to select this area right here and say, hey, I'd like to change all of this green in this area. Now notice it selected green almost everywhere. So maybe here I would I would select the subtract tool and say, you know, I don't want it to select everything. So I'll make a huge brush and I'll just paint off everything except that green. So obviously there's green light hitting all of this stuff. 
and let's see how easily I can shift the hue of that bag. Maybe I can shift it to there. Maybe I can make it a little darker, pull the shadows down a little bit, pull the highlights down just a little bit. Then I can do my normal stuff, go back to the basic panel and say, you know, this is a great one for some dehaze. And while we're here, let's go back up to that mask and this time do a radial gradient. Why? Because maybe we want a spotlight right on him. Just click and drag, put a spotlight on him, maybe make it a little taller, pull it down and just say, make him just pop a little. Pull down the highlights, right? Probably popped them a little much. And let's lower the contrast just a touch and click done. And then let's look at it before. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna click on the before and the after. Before and after. If I wanna see them side by side, just click on this to cycle between. So now I can see where we started. Now I can see I've, I've made it a lot richer, made it appropriately bright, especially on him. I've shifted the color of that green and I did all of this within Adobe Camera Raw very quickly. Hey, if you like this video, it helps. You can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my god, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.